Now you have your macro numbers in place as per the last video, we're gonna look at micro measurement. And the first is micro measurement in terms of your trading system. So the key tool that you have to put in place is your trading journal to be able to see what is creating that win loss ratio and the average win versus average loss. Not many traders actually follow through on creating a trading journal, even though many people see the benefit of it. But just to reinforce the benefits, it can potentially give you, a, first of all, a behavioral assessment of how well you meet your plan, including the evidence as to what happens to results when you do and when you don't. The detail you require to compare systems or part of systems as a whole and for different strategies, instruments and even timeframes to find what is right for you. For example, you may find that your hourly timeframes that you trade produce much better results than your 15 minute timeframes and hence be able then to say, right, okay, this is how I'm going to trade. Once you've got a critical number of results, it's very easy to go back and test alternatives on real trades you have taken. To give an example of this, let's say, for example, you're using a 20 exponential moving average price cross as your trail stop strategy. Once you've done this, you can then look back on the trades that you've taken and ask the question of that, well, would I have been better using perhaps a 30 EMA price cross as a really simple example? In terms of the content of your trading journal, it should not only have the required information to give you the detail you need, but also to ask the right questions and review easily. So here's a little blueprint in terms of what should be in your trading journal. And this can be set up on a simple spreadsheet. So you may have some trade overview information, which includes the date, the asset, the time frame, the strategy type, some position details about whether you're long or short, entry price, lot or contract size, time frame and platform entry time. And some people may include an entry chart in this. You may include the reason for entry, which it ties into some degree with the strategy you're using, and plan stop, so initial trail and profit targets if set and why, and whether there was any relevant economic data due during the life of the trade. You have a trade record in terms of what may be happening and the reason for exit, which specifies your actual exit strategy and, of course, your exit price, and consequently your final profit loss. And then possibly some reflections or comments on the trend in terms of how well you followed through and things that you did well or could be improved upon. Now, just to give you an example of what such a spreadsheet may look like, here's a simple example. Here's a template that you can sort of copy and use. So here we have the entry date, what the asset class is, the code, the strategy using, whether it's long or short, time frame, the time you entered, and the entry price and position size. Then your pre planned exit, and of course your actual exit, i.e. what the exit price was, what the exit type, whether it was a take profit, a trail stop or an initial stop and then any comments that you care to add and then of course your overall profit loss on this so there's an example for you if you'd like to copy that feel free but that's all a journal needs to be and of course you need to be disciplined sufficiently to not only start this off but keep it going on an ongoing basis hope that's useful we'll see you in the next video